So some of these statues commemorate people who fought a war to preserve slavery, were erected to assert white supremacy and were dedicated by Klan members. And yet, there is a blanket defence that tends to get offered by people, and not just people, also this guy. They're trying to take away our culture. They're trying to take away our history. OK, so that argument is taking these statues down obliterates history. The president's concern seems to be that tearing down statues leads to a slippery slope. This week, it's Robert E. Lee. I noticed that Stonewall Jackson's coming down. I wonder, is it George Washington next week? And is it Thomas Jefferson the week after? You know, you, all, you really do have to ask yourself, where does it stop? OK, well, I'll tell you where it stops. Somewhere. <laughs> Anytime someone asks, where does it stop, the answer is always, fucking somewhere. <laughs> and look, there are clearly people deserving of statues who were imperfect humans, and sometimes our standards change over time, which can then get tricky, because you're judging historical figures by modern standards. This really isn't a close call. The president's concern seems to be that tearing down statues leads to a slippery slope. Is it George Washington next week? You really do have to ask yourself, where does it stop? Somewhere. Fucking somewhere. This really isn't a close call. They're trying to take away our history. You're judging historical figures by modern standards. Leads to a slippery slope. To a slippery slope. A slippery slope. Is it George Washington next week? This really isn't a close call. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson the week after. You really do have to ask yourself, where does it stop?